Hey everyone, um, welcome to my channel. I am Erin Hart and um, I'm here today in my backyard. It's so pretty, it was raining and I just love, I love it back here. But I'm really back here because <laughs> my baby is sleeping and I do not want to wake her up. So, um, so anyway, uh, it is cold today and it is one of those things, I guess I get really cold now. <laughs> You know, after losing so much weight, I guess that's one of the bad parts about losing weight. But I think if that's the worst, if that's the worst of it, then it's pretty awesome. I am, I feel so much better, and I'm, I'm loving it. So I am uh, excited to talk to you guys today about um, the power of connection. So I am here to share tips and tricks with you um, <clears throat> on your path to wellness and today we're going to talk about the power of connection um, a little bit about me I'm a nurse I'm a mom I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I'm a health coach and I've struggled with my weight my whole life and I found myself at 285 after I delivered my third baby so I recently lost more than 125 pounds and I'm wanting to share with you what I've learned that's helped me to be successful uh, losing weight this past year. So today I want to share some thoughts with you about the power of connection. So when you're making a huge lifestyle change, connection is key to success. Um, can you do this alone? Yes, probably. Well, maybe, you know. Are you more likely to succeed if you have others encouraging you, keeping you accountable, and teaching you? Yes, 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 for sure. And then are you more likely to maintain your healthy lifestyle change if you are mentoring others who are struggling? And the answer to that is just absolutely. So at a conference um, in Utah last summer, Put on by the brightest cedars of Utah and the brightest cedars of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Facebook groups. Um, the keynote speaker, his name is Rob Rains, he referenced this really interesting study. It is called um, Social Support and the Perception of Geographical Slant. So the study brought participants to a hill and they found that those who um, approached the hill alone, um, they perceived the hill to be steeper than those who were accompanied by a friend. So in other words, a per the participants who had a friend with them at the bottom of the hill um, perceived it to be less steep than the participants who approached the hill alone. So they found that social support <clears throat> can influence our perceptions of difficulty and I just think that that's so interesting connection and social support are really important on our path to becoming a healthier person when we have friends and family supporting us through this it's not as daunting especially if someone is helping you that has already been through it who has been successful and um, so when you're wanting to change your lifestyle at times, the road ahead can seem really daunting and overwhelming, especially if you have struggled with food issues and have tried and failed at weight loss for years. So we all know that we should change, but actually doing it and sticking to it is the hard part, right? So I hit my rock bottom after years of failed attempts of weight loss, and I was so ready to change. I prayed so many times for help to overcome my food issues and miraculously I found the book Bright Line Eating. So Bright Line Eating has helped me to create the habits that I needed to transform my body as well as my mind and my heart. And I've been able to lose 125 pounds this year and I've gained freedom and peace from food obsession and addiction. <clears throat> and I'm not affiliated with Bright Line Eating um, at all but I am truly forever grateful that I found that program and I recommend it to a lot of the people I work with. Um, it was because of the tools that I learned from that book that I was able to lose all of my excess weight this year and I was able to gain 
freedom and peace around food, but I really couldn't have done it alone. I, by nature, am an introvert, and I'm not very social, so it doesn't come naturally to me to reach out to people for help and support, but I knew that I needed to reach out to loved ones, so I told my husband, my parents, and my siblings what I was doing, and I asked them for their support. So my husband, oh, well, he's just really the most supportive person I know, and he has loved me through it all, no matter what my size. He has been there for me through this whole process. And I always tell him that he gives me wings to fly, so I just feel so lucky to have him and he's always encouraging me and he believes in me and he has been my greatest support. At first I was unsure of whether I should tell other people, like my other friends and family, and I didn't want to tell them and have it be another failed attempt at weight loss, but after a few weeks of doing this, I told my extended family and my close friends. And to me, that was important to do because it was like burning the ships or throwing my backpack over the wall. And you know, I had to do it now. So I'm so glad that I decided to share this with them because after seeing my success, um, I've had so many friends and family members that have asked me to help them. And I've seen so many of my closest friends um, and family members change their lifestyles and, and adopt healthy habits that are gonna help to prevent disease and lengthen their life. So sharing my experience and doing the program with them has been so fun and inspiring to me and it's really helped me to stay motivated and dedicated to this new way of life. So between me, um, my brother, my sister, and my parents, we've lost more than 350 pounds together this year and it's just changed our family. So I want you to consider the thought that we are stronger together than we are alone, and we can accomplish more together than we can alone. Um, you know, we need that connection and support and um, the opportunities to serve and help lift others because when we do, we ourselves are lifted and strengthened. And I found a lot of support online on Facebook groups as well. So I love the Bright Line Eating official group. I ask all my nuanced questions there, get lots of quick replies from people that have been through or going or who are going through the program. And it's just really inspiring to see so many success stories there. And that gave me a lot of hope that I'd be able to do I'd be able to do it too. So I also have loved the brightest eaters of the Church of Jesus Christ group. And I joined an unofficial Gideon Games group with members from that Facebook group, and they've just become some of my closest friends. <clears throat> and, you know, they put on um, an amazing conference last summer with the Brightest Eaters of Utah, and they have a yearly conference in Salt Lake City each summer. So the next conference is on June 4th. And the one last year was just excellent. I learned so much and I got a lot of new friends. Another group I love is the Starting Out Bright Facebook group. Noreen, um, she does an amazing job and she, um, she does these weekly Zoom calls and interviews uh, of people who have been successful with Bright Line Eating. So it's a really great place to learn. And all of these groups are very supportive and loving. Mastermind groups can also be an amazing tool. So I created a mastermind group from friends that I met online and it's just really enriched my life. We learn so much from each other and offer support and accountability. We meet weekly for 45 minutes and talk about our wins. We take turns facilitating and teaching and then we have a discussion around different topics <clears throat> and it's been really helpful. You know, when you go through such a transformational change, you just can't help but want to help others who may be struggling as well. And this year has created so many opportunities for me to serve and to help others. And that has brought me so much joy to see people that I love improving their lives and their health. I love seeing them increase their confidence and decrease their risk of diet related diseases and death. It's just been so fulfilling and I haven't been through the 12-step addiction recovery program before but I read the book that my church has about it and um, 
I have a lot of friends who have been through the program and I think that it's really profound that the, the 12th and last step in addiction recovery is to become a sponsor and to help someone else. And that is one of the reasons I have become a health coach and why I've started a health coaching business. So I've had the opportunity to help many others this year to improve their health and to reach their goals. But I feel that I've been the one who has benefited the most from these interactions. And it seems counterintuitive, but it's true that losing ourselves in the service of others just really enriches our lives the most. So, you know, you don't have to be a health coach um, to help someone else. I challenge you to just go find someone who's struggling and help them. You know, this is how you're gonna learn and grow. and it, is gonna solidify your program and help you to be to identify as a healthy eater. I used to be a rock climber when I was young and um, I learned a lot of the techniques and knots from my time working at a boys ranch. So we did ropes courses for the kids and corporate groups and we take the kids on these week long backpacking trips. It was just so fun. and. That's where I learned a lot about climbing and mountaineering. So my boss, he was a master climber. And one thing that he taught me, he said that to become a master in something, you have to first see it and then do it and then teach it. So I feel that that applies so much to, um, to, um, to our healthy lifestyle, right? So, it just takes time, but when you surround yourself with people and friends who are doing it too, the hill doesn't seem so steep to climb, you know, like in this study. So when we learn from and when we're inspired by people who have been successful at it and then we do it and look for ways to help others to be successful, um, you know, you just find, well, are gonna find so much joy and strength and motivation to keep going. Connection really is a key to success and it's the best way to stay accountable to get the support that you need and to reach out to others who have been um, successful at it so that you can find opportunities to um, to learn and help those who are struggling. So let's return to the questions I posed in the beginning of this video. Can you do this alone? Maybe. Are you more likely to succeed? If you have others encouraging you, keeping you accountable, and teaching you, yes, 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 and yes. So, um, are you more likely to maintain your healthy lifestyle changes um, if you're mentoring and supporting others who are struggling? Absolutely. So, I just want to let you know that um, I am here for you if you feel like you need an extra level of support. So I offer private coaching and I am starting some group coaching sessions soon. And I think that you'll find it really helpful to have someone walking you through the program who has been where you are, who knows what it's like. And um, I am here for you. If you want a private and free um, consultation, you can call me or direct message me on my Instagram or Facebook and I'd love to set that up with you. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you um, found it helpful at all, I hope that you'll like it and share it and um, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss next week's video. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Erin Hart Health Coaching. So have a great day and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.